In many ways, they are our best friends. And of course, if you have a cat or a dog, you know it already. In fact, maybe right now one's watching. It's good to have you watch as well. We're going to talk about you in a way. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Joe Basicchia. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Glad, as always, to have with us Linda Gentile. She's the president of the Cape May County Animal Shelter. We're, and it's an alliance. We're going to talk about, well, spaying and neutering. And we're going to talk about this being puppy and kitten season which it is. Good to see you. Good to see you, Joe. Thanks for having me. Very important to have you here. We're also going to meet Jackie O in a second, yes. too. That's why you're getting pulled in different directions. There's Jackie O. <laughs> hey, Jackie O, you're on the camera. We'll go back and forth to you. This way we can get your face in a later shot. But uh, <laughs> look at this. I mentioned that she wants to stop up. Jackie O is great. Perfect. She's a, she's, a, she's a real cutie, isn't she? She really is. Look at Jackie O. <laughs> All right. Why is this puppy and kitten kitty season? Well, Joe, uh, during this time of year, unfortunately, so many litters are born, unwanted litters that end up dumped at the shelter or at other rescues. So we want to try and prevent that by talking about spaying and neutering. Okay. Uh, let's talk about what that essentially means. When you're talking spaying, that's more for the female, neutering for the male? Yes, exactly. Okay. Now, there, there's always, some people may, let's, let's be clear. When you have a puppy, a kitten, there's responsibility here. You would put this high on that category of responsibility? Absolutely. Spaying and neutering is uh, proven to reduce numerous kinds of cancer in animals. Plus, if you love your animal, you don't want it to stray. 85% of all dogs killed by cars are unneutered males. So you don't want them running in the street looking for that mate. You want to keep them at home safe, healthy, and happy, just like this one here. Okay, well, then what you're really saying is when an animal goes through a spaying or neutering, there is a somewhat of a personality change. <laughs> Um, but there you're is. saying that that is actually a good thing. Some people might say, I don't want to hurt my dog or cat. What would you say to that? Well, it is a personality change. It can reduce aggression in dogs, especially in breeds that are, you know, might have aggressive tendencies. So you want to reduce that aggression, reduce the roaming, and uh, uh, reduce the chances of getting cancer. So we, we try and tell people there are great benefits to spaying and neutering, as well as reducing the overpopulation at the shelters. Over 50,000 animals here in New Jersey are killed every year in shelters. Okay, what would you say to folks that may think, you know, I'd love to see my dog or cat breed. Uh, that's a different uh, type of a situation and certainly some can they get help and direction in that. What would you advise them? Well, if you're going to breed, you have to know what you're doing. So we say leave that in the hands of professionals. Many people get that purebred animal and think, well, I'm going to breed it one day. Unfortunately, they never do. And sometimes it gets out and causes another animal to be impregnated. And then you have an unwanted litter. So leave it in the hands of professionals. Again, this always cuts down to the issue that we always talk about. When you're having a pet, make sure, especially for a gift, this is a serious responsibility. We like to tell people if you're going to give it as a gift, show, uh, give a picture and maybe make sure that the whole family knows the responsibility. Don't just hand someone an animal and say, here, you have to know there's lots of responsibility for having an animal. And if, fortunately, there's people to help if some animals fall through the cracks, but that's not always the case. But you're a perfect example of this, and so is Jackie O. Jackie O had problems. Yes. And if it were not for you and in other organizations, Jackie O would be in bad shape. Jackie had Jackie O had heartworm, and that's really one of the common common diseases that animals get from mosquitoes. And uh, she ended up at the shelter because it's expensive to treat, whereas it only takes one little pill every month to prevent it. Fortunately, we work closely with the veterinary community, and uh, a veterinarian has donated Shore Veterinarians has donated uh, her treatment, and she is up for adoption right now. And she comes with one year worth of free medical treatment. So there's there's a, a selling point for you. <laughs> okay, so that's a great point for Jackie Yo and many other animals that may have fallen in line. That's why it's good to be part of your organization in many ways. She's great. <laughs> I'm getting a bath. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about costs though, Linda? Sometimes some people may be intimidated by them. Actually, there are even ways through the state you can get help. There, there is. There's a wonderful program called the State Sterilization Program. Almost all of our veterinarians here in the county participate. For only $10, you can spay or neuter your animal, and all they have to do is call us, and we will be glad to help them find where to go to that veterinarian. Thank you for being with us, Linda. And Jackie O, thank you so much for being with us. You were great. Oh, she was. This is our maker, Linda Gentile, along with Jackie O. Uh, Linda is the president of the Cape May County Animal Shelter Alliance. I'm Joe Basicchia. Thank you for watching.